Also tonight, the deadliest Ebola outbreak in history has reached the United States. That plus all the day's top stories in tonight's Two Minute Mix. The Ebola scare hits home. An isolated hospital patient in Dallas tested positive for the virus. We will control this importation or this case of Ebola so that it does not spread widely in this country. The patient just flew in from Liberia. Murder case derailed by a secret affair in San Jose. The district attorney dropped charges against Robert Zimmer and his brother-in-law. They're accused of strangling Kathy Zimmer in 1989. We need to look at this case in its totality and look at it again. Turns out the lead prosecutor hooked up with a criminalist who testified. Mayor Ed Lee's wife rushed to the hospital in San Francisco. Anita Lee got into a car crash in the Sunnydale district. Traumatizing at the beginning. I mean, she was faced with some bleeding and dizziness and chest pain. It took the ambulance more than 10 minutes to get to the crash site. Too late by fire department standards. Oh, it gets by McGloin. Hoping to turn things around for the Oakland Raiders. Assistant head coach Tony Sperano is now the team's interim head coach. It's a great opportunity for me moving forward here and for our football team at this point in time. The Raiders fired Dennis Allen yesterday. Soon you won't see these in any store in the state. California is the first in the nation to ban plastic bags. I absolutely think we'll see this spread all the way to the East Coast. Grocery stores will phase them out in July next year, then convenience stores in 2016. Another embarrassment for the U.S. Secret Service. In Atlanta, a security guard with a criminal past got into an elevator with President Obama and took pictures with his phone. Secret Service agents asked him to stop. He didn't, and he was taken for questioning. Then he turned over a gun. The Secret Service didn't know he had one.